Greetings guys and girls, welcome to Cisco with Aman Sony and in this video I am going to show you how to set up the new latest GNS3 which is 1.4.6 so that you can use the switch, uh, Cisco switch in the CLI. So for this purpose guys we are going to need 4 files, the virtual machine, the setup itself and the Cisco iOS file and an IOURC license file. So let's hop on to the new GNS. Okay, so this new GNS3 should be installed in your system. Let's cancel this and let's put it aside. And one more side note you are going to need VMware pre installed in your system. So let me put down the requirements. Okay, what do you require to do? To what do you require to take the CLI of a switch? So first thing, GNS3, 1.4.6 do you need? Second thing you need is VMware installed. The third thing you are going to need, you are going to need the GNS3 VM file. The fourth thing, the Cisco iOS file. And the last, an IOURC license. Okay, so we are going to have all these things. GNS3 already installed, VMware already installed. Okay, the VM file, the Cisco iOS file, IOURC license. I'm going to put all of these stuff in the link description below. So, first of all, you have to import this machine. How? Just right click on the machine and open with VMware Workstation. And it will ask you where do you want to save it okay uh, we want to save it here in the default and uh, we will click on import if you want you can change the name also no big deal just click on import wait for a few minutes and it will import the GNS3 virtual machine and in this video we are going to set up an layer 2 switch in our GNS3 because I know a lot of my students and friends face a lot of problem to access the CLI of a switch. Actually you just can't. There are a few ways you can use routers and make them as an ether switch but which is a headache. So we are going to use the Linux to do that and G uh, this GNS3 virtual machine is based on Linux kernel. So we are going to install it and we are going to use this iOS uh, file of the switch and put it in the GNS3 and this IOURC license and guys when we are done we have a proper running Cisco switch in our GNS3 so it is almost done and also the next video that I'm going to make I'm going to make how to reset a, your Cisco switch if you set up a password and you save the configuration and you forgot your password so you are stuck with the enable mode and it is keep it will keep asking you the password so in my next video i am going to break the password and show you how to reset okay this thing is done and do not uh, no need to change any setting virtual machine is done if you want you can even close it okay now we have the virtual machine file this file is done importing so now we will tell our GNS3 1.4.6 okay this is an important thing that is why I'm repeating the GNS3 1.4.6 it should be now go to edit go to preference and go to servers and click here because we are going to use local GNS3 virtual machine and select it was GNS3 virtual machine right because you might have a lot of files in your virtual machine a lot of people use virtual machine for a lot of things so we will select the GNS3 VM and we are going to click OK when we will click OK it will automatically start the virtual machine and turn on the machine for us so wait for it to start very soon you are going to see our same old blue lizard in the virtual machine till then wait for me to just click the GNS3 yes and the cool thing about the new GNS3 every time it will start it will automatically start the virtual machine and we are done with it no need to do anything just keep it here just minimize it now we are going to upload the file you might say what file 
we are going to upload this file and this file. These two files we are going to tell GNS3. Let's go to GNS3 again to the edit, preference and iOS on Unix. Click here. For you guys it will be blank because it is new for you. So click on browse. If it is like this, click on browse. Go to the folder, okay, where you download the files. This is the file. It just open it. Just go to the directory. For me, it is switch, switch image, and this is the IUURC file. Click on open. The IUURC license file is uploaded. Click on IOU device, guys. Okay, let me delete some old ones. For you students, this will be blank. Click on new and run the IU on the GNS3 virtual machine. Yes, this is what we want. Next. Just name it. Let's say IOU layer 2 image. Now browse the image. And if you want, you can also download some other images from the internet. For our case, we are going to use this. Okay. It is a uh, advanced enterprise 15.2 switch image. So click on open. It will upload it to the virtual machine. Then click on finish. Okay, and we are done. And in here we have the IOU. Just drag it. Drag it again. Let's have two switches. Let's connect them using the connector. If you want to see the interfaces, you know where to click. Click on start. Both machines will be starting. And right click and click on console. Again, right click. Click on console for the second one. And this transparent thing you can see, this is not your default software with GNS. This is Secure CRT. If you want to learn how to install the Secure CRT, click on this link and watch the videos. So, thank you guys for watching the video. I hope it helped you. And do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Please show your love and support. Amon Sony signing out.